How's it going? And in my last video, I mentioned how I wanted to do a video about the playtest on Nintendo Switch Sports, but sadly, I was sworn to secrecy by Nintendo, meaning I can't give you guys any information on the playtest, but if you do want to find out stuff about that, there is loads of content on the internet that hasn't been taken down, so you can go look for that. I'm just too scared to disobey Nintendo, because who knows what they could do. So instead, I thought I'd make a sequel to a video I did a couple weeks ago, where I compared Nintendo Switch Sports with the original Wii Sports, but today I'm going to be doing Nintendo Switch Sports versus Wii Sports Resort, because of the two Wii Sports games, Wii Sports Resort is my favourite overall, as it just has a lot more variety to it, and also Woohoo Island is a massive feature that I love. Also, if you're new here, consider subscribing, as you'll find a lot more content like this on my channel, and thank you guys so much for the support at the moment. Also, I did just make a Discord for fans of the channel and Nintendo, so check the description or the pinned comment to find the link for that if you want to join, and it'll just be a chill Discord for chatting about anything Nintendo, or if I start streaming, because I'm thinking about doing some streams on Twitch soon. But anyway, let's get into the actual video. So I'm going to be comparing the two games on a few categories, which include the sports, the graphics, the actual setting, and some other points. But I'll start off with the main category, which is the sports, because these are what we're going to actually be playing, so it's only fitting to go over those first. Now, in Nintendo Switch Sports, we have seven confirmed sports, with one of those being DLC, and these are Chambara, Tennis, Badminton, Bowling, Volleyball, Football, and Golf as DLC. We've got a decent selection here, but one thing to note is that badminton and tennis are going to be very similar in playstyle because it just involves you swinging the Joy-Con to hit the ball or the shuttlecock back. So these sports may feel very similar when you've been playing the game for a long time. And volleyball is kind of similar, but it does involve a lot more as you have to keep the ball up and then you can do smash shots down. But all of the other sports are quite varied. And my favourite ones so far are chambara and bowling, which you could actually play in the playtest. Now if you look over at the sports from Wii Sports Resort, you can see there's a much bigger selection of them. And in my opinion, these are way more varied than the sports we're getting in Nintendo Switch Sports. So three of the sports are the same, and these are Swordplay, which is just Chambara, basically, and then Golf, and bowling. So I'm really glad bowling and Chambara are coming back in Nintendo Switch Sports. I'm not too fussed about golf because I've just got Mario Golf if I want to play a golf game, but now we have a ton of other sports for Wii Sports Resort, and that's wakeboarding, frisbee, archery, basketball, table tennis, power cruising, canoeing, cycling and air sports and the air sports even include skydiving island flyover which is where you actually get to free roam around the whole of Wuhu island in a plane and explore the whole thing and look for secrets and then it has dogfight mode as well which is only a two-player game where it's just a massive fight in the air on planes where you have to shoot each other down all of these sports are so different from one another like you've got water sports and air sports as well as just normal ones and it just means if you get bored of a few of them there's always a lot of other choices to do that are completely different so because of the massive variety in Wii Sports Resort I'm going to give the point to them for their sports over Nintendo Switch sports just because there is more of them and they're also much more unique from one another which just means you're able to have fun for much longer periods of time. Another thing to mention about these games is there are different mini game modes inside of each of these sports. For example in Wii Sports Resort you have bowling and inside of that it has a 100 pin bowling mode which is really cool and in the trailer for Nintendo Switch Sports we can also see some of the mini game modes included in that game. There's screenshots of the bowling modes where there's obstacles in the way which make the whole game a lot more challenging. So both of these games have some really good mini games. I really like the slicing one for swordplay in Wii sports resort where you have to slice different items in the right direction before the other player does so it's just a 1v1 mode and for chambara and nintendo switch sports there's different play styles you can do like dual wielding where you actually have a sword in each hand to use which can actually change up the game quite a lot and make it feel very different so it's nice to see both of these games including their own different modes in each sport now so far with the information we know i'm gonna give the point to wii sports resort just because we don't know too much about all of the different modes you can get in nintendo switch sports so we know about the bowling one and the chambara ones as well as football being able to have a game mode where you wear the leg strap from Ring Fit Adventure which is really cool but we don't really know many of the other modes and the ones we can see in Wii Sports Resort are just a little bit more exciting so far so I'll give that a point but maybe there will be a lot more game modes in Nintendo Switch Sports we just don't know about at the moment so this point isn't really that fair. Now I'm going to talk about the graphics and art style of each game as this can be a big selling point for some people because if a game looks bad it's sometimes not that enjoyable but graphics aren't everything of course because I'd rather play a game that had fun stuff to do but didn't look very good than a game that looked exactly like real life but had nothing thing to do in it. But out of both of these sports games, the graphics in Nintendo Switch Sports are obviously going to be better quality just because it's newer and in HD. And I'm going to give Nintendo Switch Sports the point. I've got to say Nintendo really did well with the art style of all the sports arenas you play in. I especially love where you play Chambara. It just looks so nice and vibrant. The colours really pop out in this game. And Wii Sports Resort did also look really good, especially Woohoo Island, which looked amazing. The graphics just aren't as good quality, but you can't really blame them because it's so many years older. But I am giving the point to Nintendo Switch Sports for this one. Okay, now I'm going to try and compare Woohoo 
Woohoo Island with Spoko Square. So Woohoo Island is the setting for Wii Sports Resort and Spoko Square is the setting for Nintendo Switch Sports. Now the main thing I have to mention is we do not know much about Spoko Square so far. We've been shown a few images of it and it is looking really good. It's like a big city with all of the sports arenas in the middle but we don't actually see any place for golf which is going to come in the future which implies there's other places you could visit which would be really cool but we don't know anything about those at the moment. And then for Woohoo Island, this is one of my favourite places from any video game. It's so memorable and loved in the Nintendo community and also a lot of the sports allow for you to actually experience the island and explore it even more. So it really makes the game more immersive because you can see where all the sports are in the game. The same goes for Spocko Square. We don't know how much of it you can explore but it does interconnect all of the sports together which is really cool and I like both of these. I'll give the point to Woohoo Island though just because it's so big and has lots of stuff to see in it as well as how alive it feels like you can really get the feeling that these Mii's actually live here and go on holiday here to go and play a bunch of their favourite sports and it's lively all the time so that's why I love it and it's probably a lot of nostalgia talking but yeah they deserve the point and Spocker Square looks amazing but we just don't know too much about it like this video is so biased just because Nintendo Switch Sports isn't even out but I'm doing it for fun and it doesn't actually matter who the winner is because they're both different games and we're gonna have to wait for the release of Nintendo Switch Sports to even judge it properly. Okay, the next thing is the characters that you play as. And in Nintendo Switch Sports, people have found it very controversial because they've created these new characters that look a lot different to Miis. They're more shiny and polished in my opinion, which isn't the same as Miis. Miis looked very simple and basic, and I really liked their aesthetic. But if you look closely at the Nintendo Direct, it's not in the trailer, but afterwards they do show you can play as your Miis in Nintendo Switch Sports, which a lot of people don't seem to know at the moment. And while the other characters you play against aren't Miis, which can be kind of sad, you are still able to play as your own ones, which is good enough for me. Another thing to mention is the new characters in Nintendo Switch Sports, you'll be able to buy outfits for them, which I think is a really cool idea because it gives you an incentive to play the games even more, to unlock more coins and points to buy these cool outfits. And it's going to be really fun if there's like limited edition ones where you can only get them on certain days and so you can have some sort of trading system to get the rare ones in and that'll be really cool. And then for Wii Sports Resort, all of the characters are Mii's and it has some famous ones like Matt from Boxing, who's also the champion and swordplay. Everyone who's played the games knows about Matt because he's just really famous on the internet, like loads of memes are made about him. And the Miis are just a classic Nintendo vibe. It's kind of a shame that they're forgetting about them recently on the Nintendo Switch. Not as many games are really using them. But I am going to give the point to Nintendo Switch Sports because I'm not actually a massive hater of the new characters, but you also can use your Miis, so I'm happy with that. And being able to buy outfits I just find really cool, so I'm giving that game another point. And I know that's very controversial because people are not enjoying the new character models. I don't mind them, I do still prefer Mies, but you can play as Mies as well, so that's why I'm giving them the point, because they have the best of both worlds. But yeah, they're all the categories I'm going to go over in this video. I really hope you enjoyed my rambling on about these two games. I'd like to think it was at least a bit entertaining, and yeah, if you did find it fun, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to help support me, and of course leave a comment about your favourite parts of each game, as I'd really love to hear your points about which one's better. And now I'm going to go and play some Mario Kart to keep occupied while I wait for the release of all the DLC coming and Nintendo Switch Sports coming out. We have a lot of stuff to look forward to, and I can't stop being so excited for it. But anyway, Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.